Hi guys, welcome down to the complete Fix Your Driver guide. And how many would love to hit the ball more towards the left? Completely fixing that slice and hitting a completely different shot shape. Well, this is a four part series, I've just done the overview of why you hit a slice potentially. This is gonna be all about fixing the face first. Knowing where this face points is super important. Once we get the face going left, then we can change our path and then finalize, we can actually work out where our strike location is. So slice shot, curving shot for a right-handed golfer going to the right, for a left-handed golfer curving to the left. It, it just kills a lot of golfers because it's so hard to manage, it's so hard to maintain. And the key principles around it is that the face is more open than a swing that travels to the left. So the golf sw swing travels to the left, and the face a little bit more open. Now, we don't know what came first for every golfer watch. Everyone's gonna be different. Some golfers might have always had the club face open, therefore they've had to swing to the left, where other golfers might have always swung to the left and they've tried to fix that by keeping the face open. So there's always, there's always little tendencies between golfers, which, one, which way around is that? A bit of a chicken egg scenario. Either way, they get to the same conclusion where the slicey shot happens, a fady shot happens. What we've got to fix first is the club face aiming to the right of the path. If we can get that club face coming through, aiming to the left or aiming straight with our swing direction, we're going to hit golf shots that go absolutely straight to the left or curve to the left. And that's really important that if we can get that ball curving to the left early, we've, we can fix your slice so quickly it's untrue. There's three main components to why a face would be open. Component number one is grip. So I'm gonna talk about grip first, then we're gonna talk about takeaway club face position, and then we're gonna talk about how the club face operates through the golf shot. Okay, so let's talk about grip first, because a lot of the time, a slice shot, an open face can be fixed by a grip. I'm not saying this is the definite answer for everyone, but it's worth checking if you do slice the golf ball. Don't just overlook this area. A weaker grip is a hand placement with the left hand that is too far around and under, around to the back, or a right hand that's too far over the top. Either way, we've got to fix those. So what I would advise with the left hand is holding it in a slightly stronger location. In the fingers first, so straight between the middle of the index finger and the edge of your little finger, we're going to hold the grip handle in there, in that little finger hold. Then place the hand on top, and we're aiming to see two knuckles on the back of your left hand. And you should be feeling that the left hand has more of a tendency to want to turn to the left than it would do to the right. If you notice this, that face is dead straight now. Now I've held, that a little, held the golf club a little bit stronger. I can rotate that club face to the left more than I can rotate it to the right. Great. Fixing slice is what we're doing here. The right hand then sits more down the side of the grip, not directly on top. So we want to go down the side of the grip, link the finger or overlap the finger, whichever way you do at the back, and then just nestle in the fingers a little bit more around the grip, not too much of the palm holding the grip. Again, we want to kind of make it a little bit more finger based with the right hand. So we're holding it in the fingers of the left and keeping the two knuckles on the left hand. The right hand is going more down the side of the grip and again holding it in the fingers as we're holding the golf club here. And this is to promote more of a left rotation than it is a right. You can see that I can turn the club face to the left. I'm struggling to turn it too far to the right. Hit a shot or quite a few shots with that action first. This is stage one and it might fix some players' slices. It's not going to fix everybody's. So hit some shots with that slightly stronger grip, getting used to the shot. And for me, you can see it goes massively to the left because that's a stronger grip position than what I'm used to. What we want to see first out of this whole video is shots going to the left, straight left, or curving left. This is mission number one, this is lesson number one. So, grip is key, and if you feel like that's good for you, great, try the next area. If that's not improved it, and you're hitting it left, try the next section of this. And this is all about how the club face goes back in the golf swing, and how this wrist operates in the backswing too. So, 
early doors with our new grip, if we're getting the club face starting to rotate open, pointing up to the sky, or we start to get too much of a cupping of the left wrist, that's gonna keep that club face open in the duration of the golf shot, and we have to swing left, causing that slice golf shot. So what we're looking for here in the takeaway in the backswing, halfway back position, we're looking for a club face that's aiming slightly more down to the ground, only just, but slightly down to the ground. And we're aiming at the top of the golf swing to feel like we're looking for more of a bowing of the left wrist. So we're looking at bending that left wrist a little bit more away from what we would do as we cup it. And that way we're gonna keep that club face much more closed as we hit the shot. This is quite an extreme one and it will require maybe filming yourself and practicing it at the driving range first. So we're gonna go back with more of a closed club face we're gonna look at bending the left wrist more so that the back of the hand is up to the sky. Swing down and hit. This might feel strange for a lot of people watching, but it will, if done correctly, make that golf ball for a slicer go viciously left. And that is lefter than lefter than left. Bear with me, like I said at the end of the day, we have to fix face first. Face has to go left. And at first you will hit shots that go straight left or will curve left. That's the mission of this video. That was a great example of what we needed to do. Straight left or curve left, because that is getting the club face left of our path. And then we can just change the path. It's much easier doing that way. The final section of this. So if, if the grip didn't work for you personally, or the club face wasn't quite working for you, there's one area that we need to look through the golf shot. As a driver comes in to hit the shot, and certainly with driver it happens more than most clubs, is there is a temptation to try and add loft to the golf shot. Pointing the face up to the sky, adding loft through the shot. We're looking at trying to counteract that. So the feeling would be more that we're looking at actually trying to get the club face to rotate. See how the club face is starting to rotate over? And that's performed through the arms crossing over and rotating that golf club around the body. So I'm not looking at getting this golf club going up. I'm looking at that golf club starting to rotate through the hitting area. And a good checkpoint is that halfway through position with the club face slightly more down to the ground, not up, more down to the ground. So again, practice that at the driving range. Still incorporating, there's two movements that we've already done. You might not need this one, but this is a fail safe one. And we're looking at extending the right arm over the left, allowing that club face to rotate, allowing that club face to turn. This will go left, left, left. Big left big left. So arms crossing over with the club face slightly more down to the ground. And as you can see, that is viciously left, but that is the task of this video. You've got to be hitting it the opposite side of the slice. So important, it's untrue. Once that ball is going opposite sides because your club face now is more left of your path, awesome. But do me a favor, before you click the next link to the next video, shut your computer down, close your laptop, put your phone down and go and practice this motion. Go and practice this movement because this is more important than anything else. If we can get our face going left first, first off with Victor Slice, you're gonna be hitting it too far left, great. Join me next video to help you hit the ball straighter than you ever, ever hit it without any slice. So important factor here, we've got to get the club face going left of our path. We do that by potentially changing the grip or allowing that club face to go slightly more closed back with more of a bowed left wrist position. And if that's not quite working, getting that club face to move around the body, allowing that to close as well with using your arm extension and your forearm rotation.
Guys, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button, comment below. Where now are you hitting it? Are you hitting it further left? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I really would. Give me some feedback in this. Stay tuned for the final two parts to completely finalise the transformation. And you're going to go out there and just, just blow your mates' minds off when you're hitting it a lot straighter. Stay tuned to part three coming next. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.